This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. And Red, it's Alex, that's me. The Ramble, that's the name of the program, and we're here until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Stephen Kravitz. Hi, Stephen. Nice to see you. Hey, Alex. Hey, folks. Nice to see you here on a regular basis. Yeah, here we go again. Yeah. How how are the... (laughs) You know, this is I. I decided I'm changing the whole show I'm doing, from being um, a show about politics and things like that to a show about all the things that plague us when we get old. Okay, because is the that next a call old like me. No, but the next question I was going to ask you is, how are your new dentures? You know, I'm getting used to them. You're getting used I'm getting to getting used to them. Yeah. Okay. All right. They're still problematic. I mean, when it comes to eating, it's not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I'm getting used to it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, can I ask you what your denture adhesive of choice is? <laughs> right now, I just use the CVS brand name one. Oh, really? The generic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that works. It sticks. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Right. It's fine. Right. You don't have a denture wobble or anything like that? I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I just hear, see it on the ads. Do your dentures wobble? Try a denture cream or whatever. I, right, right, right. I don't have dentures, so I, you know, I get implants. All right. Well, I don't have $75,000 either. Well, well I, <laughs> yeah, well, I'll send you $75,000. You'll have a hard time cashing the check, but I'll send you $75,000. Send me a thousand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I just, I, I'm dealing with a bank uh, right now. And uh, dealing with banks is, in the old days, it used to be, hey, you know what the bank was? I have this little book, and I go down every week, and I put $5 into my account. And they, they write right. the $5 in, and you watched it add up, and finally you had like $50, right? You know? And the bank was really nice to you, and they gave you a lollipop when you left. And, Maybe. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. No. No. Oh, by the way, that that uh, that account, checking account, that uh, the savings account I had, drew five yeah. percent interest when I was a kid. Five percent interest every year. Really? They would give me five percent on the money that was in there. Yay, Alex! Congratulations for saving money. Do you, right. Do you know how much money I had at one point? I think in my savings account, over fifty thousand dollars. Just in the in, not in the savings account, just my general money account, fifty thousand dollars. Right. Okay. What kind of interest do you think I got? Oh no, in the savings account, I had more than that. I had fifty. Okay, I had fifty thousand in the savings account. How much do you think I got a month on that fifty thousand dollars? One point five. Try. What was it? Three dollars and fifty cents. Oh really? In interest? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't they don't give you interest anymore. Oh, no, you're so, they don't. You're so fortunate that we'll hold on to your money for. It. What do you mean? I'm giving you money, which I don't have right now, but you do have, and you can invest that in stuff for the bank. Right. That's right. right. You're using my money. Yes. And, and all you can pay me back is three dollars and fifty cents. Are well, you Bank of America is the worst. Well, that's the one I'm with. I know they're the worst. Really? How bad are what, worst in what way for you? Well, years ago I ended up with Bank of America by default. They kept buying all the banks I was with. Yeah. Okay, that happened with I me. ended up with I ended up with Bank of America. And I was waiting on this check so I could pay my bills. And the check came 
and I paid my bills, and the Bank of America said that the check didn't clear in time, so they bounced all my um, my uh, my 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 uh, utility payments. They bounced all my checks, so it cost me like I think fifty dollars a check that they bounced. Oh Jesus! Yeah, they're they're. Uh, I have nothing to do with them. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I I got them. Actually, I started out. Was it with Chemical Bank? Who did I start out with here in New York? I can't remember now, but it wasn't. It certainly wasn't Bank of America. And and the reason I went with them is they had the best, you know, the best policy with checks and cost of you know this right, and that, right, or right. whatever. So uh, I I just went with that bank, and then all of a sudden one day I get a notification: we've been sold to Bank of America. So I be- right. so I became Bank of America. So. Right. That's how I ended up with Bank of America. Yeah. And and are you still with them in spite of all that no. they did to you? No. 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 Who do you who do you bank with now? I'm with the uh, SAG Federal uh, Federal Credit Union. Oh, really? SAG? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And you have all your all your savings and everything in the in the in the uh, union. Okay. I I you know I never thought of that. Yeah. But that might be a good idea. Are they are they good? Are they do they do yes. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they had a very good health plan too until they pulled it out from under us. Right, right, right. Yeah. But uh that that's So a, I listen I I I saw Gabnet on my news feed. On your and news I listened feed. and it was Larry. It was Bubbles. It was Bubbles. Okay. Talking about how he just got himself a new flip phone. Yeah. I was thinking a flip phone what year is this, Larry? Oh, jeez. You know, he had a choice. He had a choice. That's right. And then they went in the back room and got him a flip phone. Yeah. They found the old flip phone that was up on the top shelf that nobody wanted. Right. Yeah. Right. And I told him, why'd you do that? Well, I don't want to break my new phone because I don't, won't like it and I'll throw it across the room. And you know, Bubbles? Come right. on. The only reason he wants a flip phone is he doesn't want to ruin his reputation. You know, he figures he'll have one less comedy routine if he if he gets rid of the, <laughs> phone, <laughs> the flip phone, right? Anything, anything for a good joke. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, but uh, he, you know, he, uh, 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 he's just he's incorrigible that way. And you may notice that there was no picture of him. I had right, a, well, there's just a still picture. There's a still picture that I animate a little bit with bubbles and stuff on the side. You right. Know? Uh, but, I mean, that 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 was uh, the most of it. I mean, it, that was terrible. It's terrible. He just won't, he's incorrigible. Doesn't he have a laptop? No! What? Are you kidding me? He's Really? He, he, all right, you ready for this? Hold on to your seat, you know. Stick your finger in your sphincter because it is going to make you shit. <laughs> he has, for his internet service, dial up. No. Yes. They still. Dial up? I didn't even know they still made that. They still have dial up and he has it. I didn't even know that existed anymore. Yeah. Yeah. He has it. So, I mean, go figure. You know, we- last time I had dial up, I li- was living in Park La Brea in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. and it would take half an hour to get online. You just couldn't get online. Oh, Beep, yeah. Boop, boop. oh yeah, no, it, it's ridiculous. You know, I mean, how long if he sends me a text, it'll take him an hour for it to go through. <laughs> Right, 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 he, right. He answers my email, like I send you an email, and I say I'm going to call you at such and such a time or whatever. Right. And he gets those mails, so he obviously has some way of picking up his email. But, you know, I mean, he he refuses to, I mean, we're not even, when we're talking dial-up, we're not talking technology that's, oh, say, 10, 15 years old. We're talking about something that goes back to 1975, Dial-up goes back that far? Oh, yeah. Or, or I, I know I was using it in 1982, I think. Something like that. And then I went to a thing called DSL, which was double the speed. 
And then finally, one day the internet came along and I went on to that. And I, right. I, I couldn't even conceive of that when it first happened because they said, well, it's always on. You're always on the internet. Right. And I didn't understand that. But now, I, of course, now I do. But I couldn't right. understand how you didn't have to go into a dial thing. But he's got a technology that's... Uh, uh, 70, uh, so, let's see here. 70, uh, let's see. 80, 90... Uh, 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 2000, 2010. He's got fifty-year-old technology. Well, at least he's a, at least it's not a hundred-year-old technology with Bubs. And they still make flip phones, but they make, see. I didn't know that. Well, they make, I didn't know they that. make a different kind of flip phone for people who like that flip idea. They have a phone that will flip, but you still have all your smartphone stuff and all the apps. Right, Samsung makes it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like two thousand dollars for a phone. Yeah, it's it it actually it folds in the middle. Right. And so you open it up, and there's the whole screen. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. So. You but know. I, I can't I can't justify spending that much money on a phone. Well, I spent what I spent. Uh, my phone's about eleven hundred dollars, but I'm paying for it over time. You know, I right. pay for it every month. So, whatever. So. You know, I, uh, you know, but I, uh, you know, I, was, I mean, I was talking to Bubbles. I, uh, the, the, well, uh, the latest one, I guess, is going to be on Friday. We talk about technology in general, and I talk about how I've gotten to the point where I kind of hate it. You know, I mean, I, right. I, you know, probably have not known anybody as much into technology as I was at the time that you knew me back when. Right, right, right. right. You know, I was all into technology and every new little bell and whistle that came along, you know. You had to have it. When they first put the iPhone out, I dreamt about it in my dreams. Oh, really? (laughs) Oh, yeah. I mean, this idea of a phone that would do all the things the iPhone did, you know. What, it'll make calls and take pictures? Now what they yeah talk, now now though they're just selling a camera that has a phone attached to it. That's basically it. Yeah, they don't even. You're you getting a thousand dollar camera and a hundred dollar phone. You know what they don't mention is the thing that I use the phone for the most, which is listening to music when I'm walking down the street. They right. Don't, they don't say anything about hey we've just improved the the music. There's nothing about the fact that it's also an iPod, you know. Right. Uh, uh, and uh, they, oh, look at the pictures it'll take, and it'll do slow motion, and it's a, you know, and I go right. great. I you know I'm a, photo- a photographer. I love to do video. It's a, it's a great little device to have with you when you don't have your camera. Blah 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 blah. But come on, it, does it make a call? <laughs> Right, 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 right. Can I make a call? Or can I answer a call? Yeah, exactly. That's all I care about. Damn it. And I don't like text messages. Oh, they're the worst. They're the worst. I've got this one guy, I, I don't have to get text messages from him, but I get Facebook messages from him. And my Facebook messages come out on my watch. Oh, really? Okay. So but he, what he does is he, he literally sends texts one word at a time. Hi, next message. Alex, next message. Al, <laughs> next message. And it keeps going off on my wrist. Ding, 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 ding. And I'm going, you. I finally had to ban him from my Facebook messaging. He can't message me anymore. It's just too much, too annoying. You know. How'd you do that? Oh, you just go on there and say, uh, you say, you put him, you block him. You can block someone, Right. You know. But, uh, Anyway, so back to your dentures. No, uh, 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 it's old people talk. Here are your dentures. They fitting well? Are you doing yes. okay with them? Yeah, yeah. How else is your health? Is your rest of your health okay? Yeah, my health is good. Yeah, my health sucks. I, what I, do you mean? Well, people don't want to hear this one more time, but I fell. I took a fall in the, on the, onto the sidewalk, and I thought, you know, I got a cut here, and uh, I... Uh, you fell on your face? I, I guess, me no, I think I fell on my hand, which was, my face hit my hand, whatever. Anyway, my but hand. But you fell face first. Yeah, my hand has been killing me for, like, since a week ago Monday. And, I mean, it's still hurting. I wake up every morning, it's hurting. Did you have it checked out? No, no. 
because it, it all works, you know, but it just hurts, you know, and I think I may have bruised the tendon or something like that. They say, Probably. you know, they say that that's what, what happens. So I've been suffering with that. I can't, I can't pick up a cup of coffee, you know, I have to do well, it. Well, you have two hands. hands, Alex. I know. Well, I, you know something? I'm very, I'm so right, left-handed, right, right, right-handed. Right, you're right-handed. I'm so right-handed that my left, I can't do a lot with. If I had to pick up coffee, it's kind of clumsy for me, you know. Right, no, I get you. You know, so it's I, not comfortable. You know, why does it have to be this hand? This was my favorite hand. All right, I did everything from drinking coffee to jerking off with it. Well, thank you. You know, I mean, but but that's the hand that kept me in business for years. And, that was, <laughs> and kept you sane. And kept me sane. And so why does it have to be that hand? Why couldn't I have landed on this hand? Why? Because I'm so right-centric that, you know. Right, I used because it to, your right hand is so dominant, that's the one you put out. I, I used it to... to uh, uh, break your fall. Break my fall, yeah. Somebody said you should tuck and roll, but I have no idea how you do that when you fall. You You'd know. end up breaking your back. Yeah, I'll, I'd do something else. The shoulder would be gone, something. Right, yeah. right, right, right. You don't yeah. want to tuck and roll on the cement. Right. So I'm, I'm not, I, I haven't been out in, God, I don't know how long. I'm afraid to walk. I'm afraid to walk down the street. You know, I'm afraid to take another fall. You know, so anyway, there it is. There it is. My paw is, you know, do like a, a clamp. Do like a dog. So, uh, uh, so, anything new in your career? No. In fact, would you like to manage me? Oh, sure. You want me as a manager? Look how well. Yeah, my, right. Look how well my career is going. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Right, right. I couldn't even manage myself. You know. Uh, I mean, I have. No, my, I want to get. I want to get back in the game. I just don't know how to go about it anymore. You know, it's it's funny. Yeah. If you if you're not in the front, if you're not inside any longer. To be outside trying to get back in is as hard as the first time you tried to get back in. Right. I mean, you probably right. have to go through the same process again. You may get through it faster because you're already adept at what you're doing. Right. But still, you got to play the small clubs, and then you got to do this, and then you got to do that. And in my case, I got to find a radio station that will take a guy my age, you know, which is impossible. So that's why I'm doing the internet. Uh, because it's my only real outlet, you know. So, and plus my business. Really, you don't, you don't think a radio station would take a chance on you? No, uh -uh, no. To begin with, the, the question is, how many radio stations actually have jobs? You know, a lot of times right. they take. It's they, all automated. They take all the syndicated crap and everything. So unless you're one of about five guys doing syndication, you're not working. Right. You know. And locally, I mean, they see me coming in the door, and it's the old guy walking in the door. Right. You know? Uh, uh, well, that's like, I mean, these days, just to get on open mics, you have to send them a tape. And how can you send them a tape if you don't have any stage time? Well, you do a, uh, what was that guy in uh, in uh, uh, The King of Comedy? Uh, what was the name of the main character? You, you do a Rupert Pupkin. What you do is you go down to your basement, <laughs> you know, you set up a false set, and then you do you put up a fake brick wall, or maybe you have a brick wall somewhere, and uh, do your comedy act. And then f send it to me, and I'll add a laugh track. <laughs> you know, but I mean, uh, in my case, um, I remember I went over to uh, WOR here in New York after I got dumped by Sirius XM. And uh, so, so they, they gave me a shift, uh, and then a friend of mine who knows them called them and said, well, how'd he do? And here's, what, here's the term they used. This means he's old, uh, and uh, we don't want him because he's old. The term was, he's a real pro. Oh, I'm a real pro, huh? What does that mean exactly? It doesn't mean anything. It means I'm so old that I really learned the craft, but we don't have anything here for an old pro. We want some amateur to come in here and get a job. 
You know, it, 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 it's just that the, the hiring of what I did for a living doesn't exist anymore. Okay, to be honest with you. And that, really? Yeah. I mean, what you do, still there's a calling for. There's still a club somewhere that wants a bunch of comics on Friday night to stand up there and make people laugh so they can right. sell drinks. All right? That's in, right. In, we're, we're nothing more than glorified liquor salesmen. In my case, they have no need for me. You know, they have no need for me. I have a friend who, uh, uh, named Walter Sabo, occasionally does this show. And Walter was a, one of the major radio consultants. A job that no longer exists. Ra radio consultant. Really? Well, in those days, you had like 10 radio stations, and they were all competing with each other for the audience, right? Right, so for what, the same dollar. So in order to do right that way, uh, what they would do, is they would say, um, okay, um, we have to compete. So what do we get? Let's get, oh, I hear Walter Sabo is a great consultant. Let him come in and tell us what we should do and how we should do it. But today, they don't have that kind of competition anymore. Somebody like uh, iHeart will own seven stations in the market and they've got their own consultant in house. What do they need? Right. What do they need? You know Walter for so Walter had to go into doing on the air stuff. You know what little he could do. Um, you know, I mean, so his profession is like antiquated; doesn't exist. And if it does, who knows who can? Uh, uh, who knows if they're working? You know, so. And the DJs don't do much anymore. I mean, they talk a little bit, but you know, all yeah. the songs are on yeah. carts. Everything's automated. Yeah, and, and also, so far as talk show hosts are concerned, they only want right wingers. You know, they don't. Yeah, why is that? I have no idea. I have no idea, except that we could argue that corporations own the radio stations, and the corporations would be pro uh, right wing. Right. You know, I mean, it's just the only thing I can think of, uh, because I, I used to listen to uh, Larry Elder out of L.A who's conservative right wing. And I yeah. used to just get so angry at what he said. You know, I, I have the fun of listening to it was to get pissed off. To get pissed off. Well, that's what happened. You see, right wing stations do better than left wing stations because right wingers will never listen to a left wing radio station. But left wingers will listen to a right wing radio station for exactly the reason you stated so they can get pissed off and yell at their radio. Right, you know. Right. So it, it, it's a it's a lose lose situation for the lefties. All right. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, and uh, one time, I there was this uh, guy who was in charge of all the what was then uh, Cap Cities. I can't remember what chain it was. Um, and um, he did, you know, was the head of talk. And uh, he told somebody once, well, no. Talk radio means right wing talk. Talk radio means right wing. He de Pretty defined much. It. He defined it as right wing radio. You know, it's either right wing or it's sports. Well, sports is the other big one that you can do that will make you some right. money. And now, of course, you're going to make a fortune doing sports because why? There are twenty competing um, um, uh, betting apps out there yeah no kidding it, yeah and they're all competing and in new york for instance we get the ads like crazy because we just legalized it okay so you've got fanduel you've got mgm you've got uh you know bally's casino this and got that thing DraftKings. It, it, exactly and so it goes on and on you just have a sports station you're lined up all day with nothing but ads from these guys right you know so it, it's a good business to be in right now Unlike the business we're in, which is basically out of work. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wish I were a stand-up because at least maybe I could try and do it somewhere, you know? Yeah, well, I'm trying to find a, a space where I can do it. Yeah, but I can't do it, you know. It's not, uh, it's not. Uh, um, it's not in the cards for it's, you. It's not in the cards for me, but, you know. So anyway, you you look like you're doing okay. It looks like you're uh, you know you're you got you're in good spirits. Yes. 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 Uh, and I I decided that I was not going to make this uh, bummer. I was going to like 
try to be as entertaining as possible for your show. Well, you certainly have been, my friend. Thank you. Uh, and uh, uh, we can't say where you're playing, so uh, hopefully you'll talk with us next week, huh? Yes. That's yes. A, that's our favorite person practically in the whole world, Stephen Kravitz, who's going to come down now and visit me in New York and spend some time so we can just have long Hang walks. Out. And long walks in the park. Isn't that right? <laughs> long romantic walks in the park. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Bye-bye. Bye, people. This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its seventh year, talk like you've never heard it before. Well, I don't know what the story is, but nobody's waiting to go on tonight. <laughs> this happened last week, and I thought it had to do with the uh, Final Four or whatever that whole basketball thing is that they're doing. And um, then, I, uh, then I suddenly realized tonight there is no game, so nobody has an excuse not to call me, okay? But if I don't get a call in a couple of minutes, that's it for tonight. <laughs> Maybe forever. I mean, I just, this is getting ridiculous, you know? I come out here, I try to do the best possible show I can do. I mean, considering my complete lack of talent. And then when people don't call, I kind of feel insulted. All right? Um, but, you know, I just, I just don't, I, I don't understand it, to be honest with you. So, anyway. Be that as it may. Uh, let me see here. Um, I want to announce something so that you know about it. Uh, I have just put up for about two, I was doing this Life in the Passing Lane for years, the story of my life, one episode at a time, okay? And uh, I, I was doing it constantly. And uh, uh, I did about uh, 67 episodes, and then all of a sudden I stopped because it was kind of the end of my life at that point. Boy, this is, I'm stuck. for some reason, this is stalling a little bit. Well, anyway, um, so, so it was a, you know, it was a real problem. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a problem. I did tw 20, what was it, 67 episodes, okay? And then I didn't do any more, and then all of a sudden I got cancer. So I did two episodes called I Got Cancer, one and I got cancer two, okay, but I never got around to doing I got cancer three, and the reason I didn't get around to doing I got cancer three was because I didn't feel the story was finished. I didn't know exactly what it was. I didn't want to say, hey, you know, it looks good, and then I have to come back and do more. But since I finally, as of uh, Monday or Tuesday, got the final word that uh, you know I still don't have it. I figured it was time to tell the rest of the story. So it's up, okay? Uh, uh, I've Got Cancer 3 and Beyond, it's called. And you can find it on the, uh, on the what do you call it, page, on our uh, uh, Gabnet page. You can also find all the old episodes also on that page as well. And uh, we'll keep this one up for a couple of days over on the left-hand side. Then down the middle is the actual, every episode that there is, and you can go to that, okay? So anyway, that's, that's, that's how it's, uh, how it's uh, shelling itself out. Anyway, we have a new, we have a new uh, Life in the Passing Lane, 70 episodes I did. That's a total of 35 hours of unbeatable entertainment. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Anyway, I don't know why we're a little bit a little bit off, and but but what we'll do is we'll go. We do have a, the two people waiting to talk to me, so we'll uh, we'll go to it. Let me see here. Let me admit all. That would be uh, Brian Neary and Alan. Um, okay, see how I freeze up when things are just. It's funny. It's I've got to get a new machine or something. Like I can afford it. Uh, but they're, they're, they do have new uh, new uh, uh, Apple computers out now that are much more powerful than this one that I have, and it, they're not that much. They're only about two grand. So, hey, and guess look who's here as well. Uh, somebody who has been uh, missing in action for a while, but he's back now, and it's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Hey, Alex. Let me turn off my mute. <clears throat> 
Yeah. Oh, 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 oh Adrian just walked in like. Yeah. Remember Kevin? Look at look at our buddy Kevin. Okay. 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 Say hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Adrian. How are you? <laughs> Say hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. Say hi, Alan. Hi, Alex. Okay. Okay. Say bye. <laughs> Does Say she, bye, Gracie. She, okay, I have to check homework. Hold on, I'll be back. <laughs> you have to check homework? Yeah. Oh, boy, I thought that was a teacher's job. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so there, there, there. Got to make sure it's good so she gets a good grade. Yeah. yeah. How's it? I don't, I don't help her much. <clears throat> In fact, she does extra stuff for the teacher, like drawing and the, the writing stuff. So she's, she's really good. I, I don't like helping her. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. We just went to an art show for my daughter. Oh, really? Oh, son of a bitch. Good, good, good. Okay, so uh, are you smart, Adrian? Oh, well, she can't hear me right now. He's got. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What do we do? We oh, we lost. Uh, uh, we lost Alan. Uh, uh, are, are you getting really smart, Adrian? Yeah. <laughs> How smart are you? This much? No, this much. This. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, tell Kevin we'll see him soon. Okay, uh, and Alex, maybe we'll go surprise Alex one day. Okay, yeah, yeah. we'll be back. Okay, that was okay. my fault. I hit the wrong button. Yeah. Boy, that, that you know, he's a good dad. You know, he really is. Uh, hey, how you been, Kevin? Long time no see. <clears throat> yeah. All right. You know, hanging in there. How you feeling? Good. Okay. Yeah. As best, yeah. As best you can. Best you can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yep. in case people don't know, Kevin's mother passed, and uh, uh, that's, sorry to hear that. Uh, huh? And that's his I'm lame excuse for not coming on this show for the last couple of weeks. I know. I know. <laughs> I just you know. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You know that is reading, always that is always the roughest. It's always the roughest thing. You know, losing a parent uh, is always difficult. But you know, every one of us, most of us, have two that we see pass. Yeah, I lost have, my dad twenty two years ago, and now mom, and I feel like a freaking orphan at sixty five years old. You it's are, weird. You are an orphan. Yeah. Now, I'm an orphan too. Join the orphans uh, club. I'm the oldest one, so now I'm the next one in line, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but no, but nobody ever says, "Hey, you know, you you guys are orphans." Nobody thinks of it that. Way. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. It's weird, you know. Yeah. Circle of life, I guess. You know, she but, lived a long life. You know, she's less than thirty days from her ninety-first. So. Wow. Wow. Tough one, but you know. My mother was. Uh, about three months away from her 101st. Wow. You know, you yeah, about, that's true. You know, she lived, a, it, when she died, I, I didn't really cry a lot. You know, I didn't feel sad because, I mean, come on. You know, if I feel sad, how many people lose their parents when they're in their 50s? You know, I have yeah, my mother. Yeah, you know, that's what I kept thinking about. You we, know, people and this war going on, you look at that, and I've seen that going on, I'm crying for more of them people than I am for my mom, you know, it's like crazy. Yeah, right, exactly. So, you know. Uh, well, it, it, it's, Not really, but, <laughs> you know. No, but, but you, you look at is. a situation like that, and then you say, okay, you know, I'm very sad she died, but she was, in fact, uh, you know, 90, 90 years old plus, and yeah. uh, I, you had her for a long time. You know, yep. so well, lucky. I mean, you would have liked to have had her around for the next 50 years, you know, but right. that wasn't going to be. Yeah. We know that ain't happened. Yeah. Yeah. So last, well, last night I was, uh, I would call Jack's show for a couple of minutes, which is always a mistake I make. <laughs> and, and I called Jack's show last night. And at some point he made some kind of joke about, well, you'll be long dead before I am. Ooh, and I'm going, yeah. uh, I'm I, sorry. I, I just heard got, that and I went, whoa, how do you know? Y yeah, I mean, I to begin with, I have less medical problems than he does. Okay. But secondly, uh, I, I, I have this great fear of death. And I was upset by that. And if he had been here, I would have slapped him. Yeah, right yeah. on. <laughs> I would have slapped him. Pulled a Will Smith on him, huh? I would have done a Will Smith on his ass, you know. 
But anyway, I uh, but you know I I thought about it and I went you know uh, if that's his perception of me, you know, and I just got great news, you know, that I did that I passed my latest PSA test, you know. So yeah. Uh, what, oh, by the way, I got word from uh, from Phil. He pa- he passed his PSA test too. Oh, good. Zero zero. Uh, you know, no detectable <laughs> PSA. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not afraid of dying. I'm afraid of dying slowly or painfully. Yeah, yeah. My father always said that if he w- was going to die, he wanted to die being hit by a Mack truck. You know, oh, yeah. just really Some fast. people survive that, though. Well, End up crippled or whatever. And, and with tre- t- tread marks on their chest. You know, it's terrible. But my, my father, he died of a pituitary tumor, and I think it took him about a week to go. And it wasn't, it was kind of painful, but at least it was fast, you know, so. But, um, and then my mother outlived him by 30 some odd years, you know. Um, he was he was 59, and she was 100, uh, almost 101. So think of it, he, they were about 30 years apart. You know, in death, and uh, uh, usually when now you, your father died when Kevin? A uh, week after nine eleven. Week after nine eleven. Okay. A week after nine eleven, which was a week after his birthday. Usually, when people when when people die, their mate goes very short time after them. That's true. It, My mother went less than two years. Yeah, yeah. It's it, there's just something about all of a sudden. You know, you're missing the one she you kept love. talking about him, Alex, when he when yeah. she when he yeah. died. Yeah, she was a little lost. Like she used to talk, every night, she used to bring him up to you. What do you think? You know, I miss your father. And she used to always tell me stories. I kind of felt bad for her. You know. Well, I'm sure I you felt bad for. Her. What do you mean? I kind of felt bad. For because when her. I used to walk by the room, she used to say her prayers. I actually miss certain things she yeah. used to do. Like yeah, at she, night, she, she would she, say her prayers. She, she missed my dad, but fuck her. You know. No, but then she was. Then you know what she said one night. I figured she goes, "I want you to have this of your father." Do you remember? She used to tell me stories. But I remember when I was small, like I told I, I don't know if you want to hear the story once. You want to hear this? It's quick. Not really. No. Oh, I forget. It's kind of funny though. <laughs> no, not yeah. really. Well, okay. Go ahead. Make it quick. All right. Well, I was my mother's little baby, so I used to uh, no shit. repeat everything. Yeah. yeah. So I used to be. I was probably like my brother said I was like maybe five or six at the time. Mm-hmm. So my father was on the phone with his with his older brother Tommy, mm-hmm. and I guess Tommy he was a womanizer. He always had different girlfriends. He was all over the place. So I was there eavesdropping by my father on the phone. He didn't want my mother to hear, I guess. But I was five or six, so I didn't know. So my father said, like Tommy must have said to him, "Oh, she's got a hot box." So I said, "Oh my!" I says, "Daddy's on the phone with Tommy." I used to I ran the kitchen. She's got a hot. And my mother's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Leo, come inside. He says, my mother's like, what's going on? And she says, Anthony's repeating what you're saying. He says, go in your room. I, my brother told me that story. I kept running around in the kitchen. Tell her. She got mad. She's cooked your own dinner. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Yeah. Because I'm repeating it. I thought I, I was a little reporter. I decided to go in. You know, you said, he, so, you said something, though. He was a womanizer. T- well, he, do- he dated a lot of women, Tommy. Well, what's wrong with being a womanizer? I mean, it, he was it, married at the time. Womanizer is a bad term. He was married. He, married though, too, he yes. was popular with the ladies. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, he was. Isn't that nice? That. He, but he had two kids <laughs> and a wife. They used to fight like crazy. Oh, was he married at the time? Yeah, but then my mother, my brother said he was older than me at the time. I didn't know. My older brother knew more. I guess at the time she was dating and he was dating, so they just stayed together until they broke up. Yeah, that's, I used to repeat everything. That, that's one thing I miss about my mom. My mom passed away when I was 13, but I miss her now because, you know, with Adrian growing up like yeah. this, yeah. Adrian, Adrian mm-hmm. growing up like this, that I I don't know how I was as a kid. I have a lot of pictures because she really took pictures of all our events, all our family stuff, birthdays and everything and everyday stuff. But I miss to hear her, you know, see like, oh, that's how you used to be or something like that. Yeah. Like crazy. My mother got to see my niece grow up. So, yeah, I, I miss a lot of things about her, though. Now, you I know, Adrian, you know you're right, Alex. As you get older, yeah. you start missing things on yeah. certain days. Adrian could be a model and she could be a model for those ads that say you can feed a hungry child or you can turn the page. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. She's got like a nice, like she's very vibrant when you see, you see she's full of like life. Yeah, she's got a good. I think, it, I, I think part of the reason is she's got a great dad. 
Yeah, he you did know. good though. And you can tell she yeah. adores him. You know. Yeah. She that's like my sister when I'm together. What what's she saying to you? Okay. Oh, I put her last name on the thing. She doesn't need her last name. You think you're like Madonna? You just have one name? <laughs> <laughs> She's attached to Brian. That's like I was with my mother. Every way she goes, she probably follows you, Brian, right? That is one adorable kid. I got to tell you, Brian. You are so lucky. You know, she yeah, I am. I, that's why. I, no more, man. I don't want to risk that. She, she could have <laughs> turned. She could have turned out to be ugly as hell. But no, <clears> enjoy her well. She's adorable. Believe me. Okay, if oh. she's ugly as hell, she's going to be tall as hell, and she'll beat them all up. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Is she going to be tall? Yeah, yeah. She's uh, she's taller than 98% of the kids her age. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's still spelled wrong. Erase it and go do it again. What'd she spell her Bruh. last What she spell her last name wrong? No, thoughtful. She forgot the T. Thoughtful. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess she she tells me she says pe some of the kids can't even read in her class, and she reads like nonstop, like out loud. So she's doing really good. Yeah, well, you got her. You, you started teaching her reading before she even went to school, right? Yeah, spelling and reading. Yeah, and in the car we play games, you know, rhyming games and spelling games and and all these things nonstop. So yeah, yeah, that's really nice. It's really great. You know, you're good. You're you, you for a guy who, who became a father. A father late in yeah. years, you late, you late and later in life. Yeah, forty-eight. You've, I was yeah, forty-eight. You, you've turned into a pretty damn good father. You know? Yeah, I should add ten. Huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Just the one. Now, Just... now let's go over to Kevin, and he'll tell you what happens when they get older. What happens, Kevin? Yeah. No, the the boy right now. Oh my gosh. Well, the girl, the girl, well, the girl has girl things too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> I think you're done. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Okay, shut the door gently, please. <laughs> yeah, I had two girls. Huh? You got two girls. That's two girls. What happens when they get to be like right now she's how old? She's six? Five, six? Six and the other was fourteen. Yeah. Now what happens, uh, uh Kevin, when they get to be what's the next terrible times they say they're like the well, terrible twos now. huh one seventeen now and, and i know nothing and she knows everything well of course it's and true. she's you know she's a scholar she's straight a's she's you know doing everything that adrian was doing when she was young yeah so uh, i guess i guess she can but, call you, know, you it's, just, it's a typical teenager. I, I think she can call you stupid and has bragging rights right oh well, yeah i you know yeah. Like I, I was teaching her how to drive. I drove truck for 31 years and I know nothing. <laughs> you driving a big truck. <laughs> yeah. And she'll tell me how I drive and how I'm supposed to drive. Really? And fuck too loud because he's right next door. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then, you know, every 28 days. Oh, yeah. 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 When it's new, it's hell. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, you got two girls, you say? Yeah, the other one's 36, uh, 31. 32. Oh, okay. But if they lived together, they would synchronize and your life would really be a living hell. Just, what's that? If, if, if they were uh, 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 living in the same house together, they would synchronize and your life would be a living hell. Yeah. 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 I've, I've got a lot of estrogen around me. Yeah. Yeah. And have had for a long time. Can you, only got one can you spray for that? No. 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 There's, there's an anti spray that goes around like you know it doesn't work yeah <laughs> well do you get to feel you know we're all guys here okay if a woman wants to call please call but we don't get many women calling this program only on wednesday night to spill call no i mean it, it it's cool I, I you know i learn a lot from it but i get a great thing a for, lot of uh yeah a lot of ups and downs, believe me. They say they challenge you. They, they do. Challenge. My, they say, I didn't go through that. When when my mom passed away, my, my stepfather, they just got married, and he left. He, he was, like, with his girlfriends and, and left me home alone. So I didn't really even go through that with parents. But he is just challenging. And so I took his phone away, finally. And, she, and you know, Mommy, Mommy's grabbing the phone back today for me and wants to give it back to him. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You know, he doesn't need a phone. He can, he can submit his homework. You know, I'll give you the phone. You can submit the homework. 
but he just challenges and he knows he can get away with stuff and he, you know so so uh, you, so good. she is not the tough one in the house you are She's not the tough one yeah yeah and she makes me the tough one because i put our foot down and then you know yeah but so, you know i mean well, it's got that's got to be difficult because biologically he's not your son right so you've got to somehow mm -hmm round him up and tell him what to do and not do and he can think well he's not really my biological dad why is he telling me what to do and i had that issue in the reverse what if, my ex yeah. married remarried and i had my kids coming to me saying well he's telling me i gotta do this and i gotta do that and i had to be the interference oh, wow. with the new dad mm. oh wow and my daughter would come to me and said well he touched me and he hit me Ooh, I'd have I don't get I had to go to him and say, you know, no, you don't do yeah. that. These right. are these are my I'll kids. I'll take care of that part of it on the weekends or whatever. You just tell me what's going on. And I got along with him real well. Yeah. He he got killed uh, uh about four or five years ago in a truck accident. He was a truck driver too, so we got along real well. But he got killed in a truck accident. Yeah. And uh and, and you know, it was hard on those two kids too. Um, but I had the same issue, you know, she would come to me and say, well, he told me to do this and told me to do that. And I got to go over there and negotiate that. And then they'd come over here, you know, on the weekends and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah their, their, father, their, their, father, their father passed away about five years ago also yeah. from colon cancer, colon cancer. Oh, really? How old was yeah, he? He was 50 something, but he just, they, he didn't go to the hospital for nothing until all of a sudden he was you know, dying. So yeah. yeah, and that's hard on the hard on them too. I mean, you can't. Oh, yeah. That's I mean, really if hard. I, if I don't see the doctor once a month, you know. Yeah, my my grandfather's really good. What is it? Let, let, as guy, let's talk about this as guys. Are there any other guys that want to join this conversation? <laughs> you know, go go over to gabnet.net and on the right hand mm -hmm. side of the page it says Zoom. Just click on that. You'll automatically get here. Anyway, get some women in here. It it, 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 guys are, I think, having a rough time these days. You know, uh, we're always at fault for everything. You know, we're always uh, 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 not completely sensitive. I mean, we're always accused of all kinds of things, sure. and then you've got this on top of it. You know that that uh, you just gotta you gotta. I don't know what the point is. I'm trying to make here. But, you know, you got to bite your tongue a lot. You got to bite your tongue a lot. Yeah. I mean, uh, how many of you guys here, well, uh, uh, who have girlfriends or wife or whatever, uh, two of you have a wife. Tony has nobody. He's lonely. I have two dogs. I don't know he I has two. Uh, yeah, fine. And they run me out all yeah. They know I'm smart. And uh, do you have a girlfriend at all, Alan? I've never asked you, actually. Yes. 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 How many times when you get into a fight with your mate, and we all do, Okay, it's not possible. It's not impossible because, hey, you know, you're together all the time and you're going to get on each other's nerves every now and then. Right. But when you get into a fight with your opposite, who gives in first and says, I'm sorry? I do. I do. Okay. You know, and why do we say it? Because we want them to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why we know that saying, Okay, it's my fault. Nope. And we don't have any pride in saying that we're right. Okay. But you would say you're sorry even though you knew that you were you were probably right. Oh yeah. I, fa yeah. I fall on the sword That's all the time. All the time. With, Rather with than my girlfriend, have... with my mother. It just it's just easier. It's you just don't want to deal with it. Yeah. There's also there's also the net they never apologize, but then they're nice to you all of a sudden. Bingo. That's what I get. That's yeah. I, you, you apologize, so. and they go, harumph, and then about a half hour later, they're all friendly and everything like that. But guys would rather say, I'm sorry, and get the put the, the whole argument aside and get it over with than have to live with it, you know? Yep. Yep. And it's not for sex or anything else. We'll get that anyway, you know? Uh, but, I mean, it's just... What what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say there? No, I was just gonna say you you're right. We'll get it anyhow. We have a right hand. Well, yeah, we always have alternatives, uh, but so do they, by the way. Absolutely. You know, 
which is usually the milkman. You know, is there, a, is there any such thing as a milkman anymore? Did I just make a man of uh, Amazon delivery guy? Oh, the Amazon. Amazon delivery guy. No, wait a minute. Do, does anybody I deliver know. milk any longer? No, I don't think so. Remember, there used to be. Does anybody yes. here remember milkman? We used to have a yes. mailbox in the front that was like a milk mailbox. My grandma had it as a yep. kid. It was like, hey. and then you had yep. this little fan-like thing, and you would put up the things. Boil that, box. Yeah. Yeah. That you wanted of what you wanted, you know. <laughs> now they'd steal the milk in Queens. I guarantee you. <laughs> she was in there, I got to run out for my Amazon. And so I guess people just go to the store and buy milk now. They don't, you know, they don't have the delivery. Wow. Yep. Yeah. That's gone. What else is gone? Um. The postman is almost gone. Oh, I like the postman now. I, I still like getting mail. Well, most <laughs> most of what I get in the mail, okay, most of what I get in the mail now are uh, just, you know, circulars and uh, various banks of mine who don't want to really tell me how much money I have. They just want to sell me on something. Give you a credit card. Give me a credit card, you know, things like that. It's been a long time since I've gotten credit card offers, though. There you go. Yeah, look how old he is. It doesn't doesn't matter, you know. Yeah, you should max them out. Yeah. You get a bunch yeah. of them and just max them out, and then just pay the minimum payment. And you have nobody who's going to collect. You don't have kids. Yeah, There's well, nobody they're going to collect it from. Eight hours since I got one. <laughs> eight hours. It's been an hour since you. I don't you got even one. open them anymore. I just put them in the shredder. Yeah. I, yep. I rip them up. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But here, here's the thing, uh, you know, I mean, I, um, I, the one thing, the guys also are supposedly not very much into going to doctors. You know, guys will do everything they have to do to not go to a doctor. My wife, it's her social life. <laughs> you know, if I say to her, Who's, who, what doctors are you seeing this week? She has at least two of them she's seeing that week, you know. Wow. Um, and it's, sometimes it's nothing. Oh, I have to go to my dermatologist this week. Why? I don't know. I have to go to my dermatologist. <laughs> you know, it's better than staying at home with you. you know? Oh God! <laughs> and now I've got this new situation where, as of today, she is—it's not unemployed. She's employed, but she the, she doesn't have to come into work. Okay, and they're paying her twenty-five percent of what she was making. So basically, she's, I think we, we, we like to think of it as uh, they're just being nice to her. For the next two years, she gets 25% wages. And uh, she's going to be home every day now. Uh, the rest of your life. For the rest of... Well, every day for the rest of your life. Uh, 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 yeah. Gosh, I, yeah, you're right. Well, you make that sound so pleasant, Brian. No, it, it it's it, very pleasant. I'm looking forward to it. Every smile, every, Don't forget to smile. every minute of it. Uh, but uh, no, I mean uh, it's uh, it's a whole new thing for us. Although I, we, I had a hint of it because we spent a year and a half during COVID without her going to work and doing all her work from home. So right. I'm used to having her not having her around, you know or having her around rather all the time and we didn't kill each other we got along fine and this is a big enough apartment if we get don't want to talk to each other she goes into the living room and i go into the guest room and we could go all day without seeing each other you know so how about you jack well uh you know i was listening to this conversation and i thought it was very very interesting because i've had some thoughts about all of this stuff <laughs> And I think uh, one of the reasons why men acquiesce so readily is women take fights way more seriously. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they hold grudges. Yeah. And uh, I think that has to do with the fact that women don't grow up playing team sports. Where you have wins, you have losses, you get mad at your opponent, and then the next day, you're buddies again. Did you pay, play team sports? Yeah, I played a little. I didn't play any, ever. Well, I tried playing football and yeah. a couple other things. Did you uh, play Did you play sports, uh, uh, Tony? Yeah, I played uh, 
basketball a lot, and I played football. I played tackle football a little bit. That's when I hurt my shoulder playing football one time. Mm-hmm. But I, I like, I like, I miss playing basketball. I used to play it at least once a week at the Y. How about you, Alan? Sports at all? Soccer. Soccer. Oh. Soccer. I when I was me. in high school. Yeah. Really? How are your knees? Uh, well, between soccer and getting in and out of a car with you know fifty pounds of weight around you and fighting people all the time, they're in horrible shape. Thanks for asking. Yeah, well, and when I was in San Francisco, I had a uh, a lady I knew who, when she was in high school, played soccer. She was a very big soccer player. Well, I mean, she wasn't big. She was tiny. But, you know, the thing about soccer is I'm told it's the one sport where you don't have to be big in order to play it and be successful no. at it. You know? and, oh, and, fact, and her knee, well, let me finish the story. Let me finish okay. the story. And her knees were, were shot. That woman, by the way, was Nicole Boxer. Barbara Boxer's daughter. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but she had been really a big, big player in in high school, and it just trashed her knees, no end. So, I yeah. thought it would be easier to play soccer than football. Yeah. 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 I, you know, in football, you got a lot more padding. When you get kicked in soccer, it hurts. How about you, Kevin? You play sports? Yep, a lot of. Them. Oh, really? A lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, I played basketball, baseball every year from seventh grade all the way to the sophomore in high school when I was playing football and then I got knocked on my ass and broke messed up my back real bad. <clears throat> then I was playing softball. That's how I ended up screwing well, up I mean, my leg. Yeah, so tell me, I mean, are the injuries that you have today that have caused you so much trouble from playing sports when you were in high school? No, I was I was I broke my leg playing softball when I was older. Mm-hmm. I was playing softball for, oh, God, 25 years, probably <laughs> five nights a week. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. yeah, and then on weekends, too. How about you, uh, 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 Brian? Brian. <clears throat> Brian. Uh, yes. Man, how, how about you, Mandy? Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. <laughs> I was 6'4 six, four, six, four in junior high school, so I played basketball. <laughs> yes. but, but in the – but in the – but, and, you know, around the neighborhood, I played everything. You know, we, we played sports in my front yard, all of us in the, in the front street. And then, uh, yeah, like Tony was saying, my, my mom pulled up coming from work. She would pull up. Man, I was mama's boy. Whatever we're playing, i drop and i go into the kitchen and listen to her talk about her day. Wow. Yeah. But, yeah, basketball. And my knees are fine. I, I used to snap. I still do sort of, sort of crack my knees all the time. And I thought when I was young, I'm going to have bad knees, but it's been pretty good. I was big into swimming, and and I wanted to be on the swimming team, but I wasn't fast enough, so I became a manager of the swimming team, which meant I got towel towel boy, towel boy, towel boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, if if there was any sport that I that I engaged in on a regular basis, it was swimming. You know, uh, I did and, some of that too. Huh? I did some of that too. Probably one of the best. Uh, things you can do, you know, mm-hmm. it's really, it's really easy good on your joints. Hmm? It's easy on your joints. Well, it's a non impact yeah. sport, good cardio, too. Yeah, yeah. good cardio, yeah. everything. And and swimmers always, you ever know, swimmers had a swimmer's body, they got this yeah. swimmer's body where the trunk was like long, you know. But, uh, anyway. what about the hair? I had a lot of friends in swimming team, and they all had that like bleach glow green hair mm-hmm. my neighbors down the street were swimmers and they were uh polo water polo water polo and they were heavy into swimming and they used to shave everything oh. they shaved their chest they shaved their oh, legs yeah. they shaved yeah. their bits, and they had you know hair that was real slick and they were they strived through high school when their you know their dad was into swimming and yeah, you, know, you go watch them go down the street, and they just kind of slid down the street. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, what? Uh, everybody says to me, "Well, Alex, now that you don't have a, a prostate problem, uh, or at least for now, knock on wood, uh, uh, what what are you going to complain about now?" Well, what do you got here? well, well the hand's problem. still killing me. Oh, okay. How is the hand, Alex? Any better? I still can't jerk off with it. It's still. <laughs> Still. You're gonna to have to go over and help him, Tony. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, gotta get some occupational therapy there. But uh, uh, the thing that is bothering me today is my arm, 
is killing me. You got to go to the doctor. Right here, I Sweet. got my COVID shot yesterday. Uh, uh, my fourth you, COVID shot. You know, did you get Pfizer or Moderna? Alex? Moderna. Back at Pfizer, they changed the formula, not the not not the part that protects you, but the carrier got changed a little bit, and they said people are expected to have a sore arm for two or three days with it. Well, guess what? Well, they may have changed it in Moderna too. They, know, they might have. I, yeah. I I didn't follow that. Yeah, part. no, my arm. The last time I did it, it hurt me maybe the same day. Yeah, a little same bit here. The next day, my arm still today, hurts. I, but today it's I got hurts. the shot yesterday morning, and yeah, yeah. I heard I mean, they were testing the six G now on you guys. The six G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to the five G chips that they've yeah. been putting yeah. in us. Yeah, they're making sure that the six G is going to work. So, <laughs> want to test it on people? <laughs> See if it's interfering with the airplanes. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So uh, what do you what do you think about uh, what's happened? Any nothing much in the new new in the Ukraine except that they're still beating the, the pits off of uh, Donald of the Trump Russians. still doesn't believe there's a war going on. He's asking Putin for favors. Yeah, yeah. Hunter Biden. I mean, please. The Republicans even outraged by that. Well, there has been a continual um, investigation into Hunter Biden. I understand. You know, and uh, I'm fine. Let it happen. I, I yeah. You know, if they don't find anything good, and if they find something, take care of it. You Unlike know? Trump, you notice Biden's not getting in the way? Yeah, no. Of course not. He's not getting on the air every day and saying, you know, the fake news is saying my son, blah, 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 blah. You know, he's not doing any of that. He's pretty good about it. But uh, that's, yep. about, that's about all he's good at. He's, so, he's avoiding... He's letting it go its own way, and uh, unlike Donald Trump, so yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, uh, <laughs> what is it? Jimmy Kimmel said the other night. He said they asked uh, the president's uh, press secretary uh, about uh, did the president have any opinion on what happened with uh, with uh, Will Smith and and Chris Rock, and. Uh, he said the answer was, uh, no, the president isn't up that late. He's got his teeth in the glass before <laughs> 8 o'clock. <laughs> he is, is he looking awfully doddering? Nah. No, you, no more so than some guys we've had in the White House before him. Oh, really? Like who? Well, remember... Uh, what Reagan looked like towards the well, end? Well, Reagan, yeah, but Reagan actually had Alzheimer's in his second yeah. term, you know. And, but they weren't forthcoming to the public about it, and uh, that's how it turned out, you know. Was but, it Nancy running the show by then? Nancy was running the country, yeah, yeah. You know, and Nancy's uh, astronomers, well, astrologists. Well, oh, yeah, that's right. The astrologer was helping her, too. Oh Why do we get these wacko presidents? How do they ever sneak in <laughs> under the transom? You know? Well, it's pretty easy the way our system operates. And now, how, uh, how exactly is that? Well, back when we were younger, Alex, these political parties... I can't remember are, when I was younger. Well, I'll, I'll remind you of it. And I'll send you an email. To uh, me, younger back, was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Well... Back before we went to the grand primary system, yeah, these guys and gals would go off somewhere, meet in a quiet, smoke-filled room, and pick somebody to run for the office from their party. Mm -hmm. So they knew who the players were. They knew who the duds were. So we, I think we got a better candidate, and we perhaps got a better Executive well, office. to begin with, there were no primaries. Yeah, there were no primaries. Yeah. You know, except for a couple of states. Yeah. So it was coming from, uh, uh, the candidates were coming from the people who knew them in the party. Yeah. And knew who the heavy hitters were. Yeah, but there, was no, there were no primaries, and that was good. You know, I don't know why we do primaries, and I don't know why the parties shouldn't have to pay for them, because it is only there to serve their function. 
to, for, so that they can say, okay, here's our nominee. Okay, we've had our little election. They should have to pay the cost of the primaries, and they don't. They just don't. Well, you see, you got to remember, there's nothing in uh, U.S. statute law in the Constitution about these parties. And we forget that they are like private clubs. But yeah. they but they fake us out that uh, they're supposed to be there. Well, if we, it, were opposed to that. If we had a truly great system, we'd have maybe five parties that were mm -hmm. important, that were part of the game plan, okay? Uh, but the fact that we only have two, I mean, and then what those two become is pretty much the same thing with just varying shades of gray. You know, so I, you know. But. Well, come the revolution. Oh, wait a minute. I can't say that. What revolution? This oh, the, country, one we, the, the one we thought we were having in 67, 68, you know, that you and I thought was going to change everything. I, I want another civil war. I, I want those, you know, here's the big mistake we made back in Lincoln's time when these states said we're seceding from the Union, we should have said we're better off. Goodbye. Don't let the Don't door let the hit door you on the, hit yeah, you yeah. Where the Union split you. Yeah. That, now I think Texas and uh, Florida could become their own country and we'd be a lot better off. <clears throat> well, you know, Texas was its own country at one time. Texas did not become a part of the Union until, uh, I'm going to say, 1843 or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, still under uh, the agreement that brought Texas into the Union, they can leave. That is still in the uh, Texas Constitution and in statute law in the country. Texas can say, we're out of here. Should Puerto Rico be a state? Definitely. And so should Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And maybe even Guam. Here today, Guam tomorrow. He didn't say that. I, I, I've always heard it here today, gone to Maui. Something like oh, okay. That. Anyway, um, so um, I'm I, I so anyway, Jack. Uh, you might be mm -hmm. happy to know that I'm I'm th this drug that I take is making me kind of lose my stability. I have uh, some trouble walking and uh, trying to come up with names. I forget names, oh, and last which, night I forgot a name drug? on your show. Which I, drug is this? Uh, uh, Pregabalin. Uh, oh, the one you were trying to get me on. Yeah, no. What I should say is I don't remember the name of it. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, um, um, it, it's it, you know it it, 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 must, uh, it must it must be okay, Alex. You know because in the past three months you've only fallen down once. Jack's hit the ground two or three times. Yeah, yeah. but I've been on uh, what I've been on for years, and uh, they cut me way way back on the, the dosage here we go welcome to the old people's club but but let me tell you what i got coming up starting next week i'm uh i have gotten uh not signed up but i've gotten uh, a new doctor who's going to try to treat dr vinnie boomba hmm? dr vinnie boomba no no dr john the oh. night tripper mm. uh He's going to try to treat me using uh, uh, sonic waves and uh, some sort of uh, low-intensity um, laser treatments. Oh, to really? Try to get my nerves to regenerate. Really? Well, if it works, let me know, and I'll go find I'll a doctor you. who will do it here. I, I know one person that's had eight of the treatments, and this guy, uh, older than me, and I think maybe a year older than you, and uh, was on a walker because of balance problems, mm -hmm. and he's back using a cane. Well, I think the, the, I think the problems with my balance is because of the drug I'm taking. It, yeah, it does destabilize you. You know, so is that the uh, red infra infra uh, infra waves? I think it is. I see I had, him. I, I I did those. I did that on my legs for quite a while. Did it work at all? I think it did, but I, you know, I got the neuropathy, so I think it, it regenerated some of the nerves, but, you know, with neuropathy, you don't feel it, but I think it regenerated some of the nerves to 
you know, help something. Mm -hmm. Well, what I was told was uh, it's going to take perhaps six months for me to see some yeah. real improvement. Yeah. But I'm willing to take a chance on that. Well, I'm tired I mean, of it's, it it's not going to hurt, you know. No. no. Doesn't hurt. But uh, but I you know I, uh, I I'm just tired of uh, of you know uh, forgetting things and so on, which is what this drug does. And I'm thinking of stopping it. But if I stop it, then I start getting the neuropathy back badly. Why don't okay. you ask the doctor for an alternative? There is an alternative, gabapentin, and I didn't tolerate right. that at all. I no. that was terrible. I, was, I couldn't tolerate either one of those. And yeah. I I was on gabapentin uh, at twelve no uh, twelve years old twelve hundred uh, units milligrams day, twelve milligrams a day. Oh, and wow! I was crazy. Er. Really? And it was it hard to get off of when they uh, backed you off? No, of they it? they they uh, they scaled me back to six hundred, and uh, I'm a little shaky, but at least I'm not falling down. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. know. I just uh, you know I I I. How about uh, taking half your pill, Alex? Can you do that or you I'll can't take half the pill because they're capsules. Can't you get a, a like? Are they twenty I mean, milligram I think, capsules? I think that every drug that they make should be supposed should be in pill form, not in capsule form. And I, I think thought you can they break. have a pill form because I thought mine were pill. I can't remember it was so long ago. I thought there was a pill form. Really, I have to look yeah. it up because if there is a pill form, that's what I'm going to ask my doctor for. Because then I can cut them in half. You know. Yeah. You could always take the capsule apart and dump part out, but that's not. Yeah, very it's scientific. not accurate though. Yeah. yeah, not very scientific. Yeah, we did that in the MDMA days. And look at Tony. <laughs> yeah. young... You added more, didn't you? You get a dollar bill and you roll it up. Yeah. <laughs> look at like look that. at Tony. The, look at Tony, the young punk here, who just is going. I can't get in on this conversation. Yeah. Young whippersnapper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just listening. Hey, can you... I ask Brian Neary a question? Sure. Brian Neary. Can you reveal yet what you are getting? Yeah, I did. Well, I didn't hear it. I want to know what you got. Well, wait a minute, getting? Yeah. What is it? It was a little. It was a little scale car of a uh, Nether McLaren. Uh, ah. He pulled a Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say, you know, uh, I did a pre a pre uh, April Fool's Day joke. He said, "What what are you getting?" And I thought, "What gonorrhea? What you know?" <laughs> But, uh, no, I put on Facebook that I my bonus on one day I got a new toy, and then I but I did I got a little toy. Well, you know I collect those uh, miniature cars, and I'm surrounded by some of my favorites every night when I do this program. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this is my this is my latest. Let me hold it up, see if anybody recognizes what it is. Yeah, it's a mini mini Cooper. Yeah. yeah. Original one. Now you don't take them out of the package, right? No, that that spoils the collectability. See, of them. that's what I think is so stupid. I, if I bought a toy like that, I buy it to play with it. Of course, Ask Tony. Ask Tony. You don't do that. I know, well, but I mean, I mean, I mean what good oh, is a comic? Go. What's a good a comic book if you can't read it? That's right. Okay. Oh, I bought this comic book. It's worth five hundred dollars, but Tony, I'm not taking Tony it out of nice the plastic. Nice enough to send me comic books. No wrappers on them, and I love them, and I read them. I got to send you a good novel. You know? He's sending you comic books? Yeah, he sent me like a dozen of them. I sent you a whole bunch. Brand new, The Avengers. And what, what is the, what is the, Spider-Man and wait a minute, Playgirl. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me ask you. What is the price on those these days? How much which, do, huh? Which, which book? How much do one of those books run? Uh, like the well, here's here's Daredevil. It says uh, on it three dollars US. Yeah, that probably quick, but I probably got it for less because I subscribe, so they give me like I'll of put course. it. In. Yeah. Oh wait a minute. Here we go. Uh, look at look at Kevin. He's got he's got one. What are you blowing on it for? I love toys. What? Why are you blowing on it, Brian? No, not Brian. Kevin. It's got a lot of dust on it. Oh, <laughs> hey, look at this one. Look at this one. What? Is, you know, I used to have penny races. My mother used to buy me. 
You put a penny yeah, in but the box. What, fun, what a fun out. is it in a box for crying out loud? Oh, I'm getting it to collect it. Can I open all my toys? I'm getting it to leave it to, to, to my grandson. One. It's only four ninety nine. I like this a lot, Tony. Well, that's, a bad, that's a good story. You should read that. Yeah, your, I like it. I've read it. I like. I like this. Now, does your grandson I'll like it. like toy cars oh, like that? Oh, oh yeah. I don't you know, have a grandson. He's uh, seven years old, eight years old, and. You know, when, when he comes down from Minnesota, mm -hmm. uh, we get down on the on the kitchen table and we play cars. Man. Play not cars. on the floor, yeah. do you? Play cars. Not on the floor. I won't get no, back not up. Not at my age. I'll never get back up. That's what we did. We went over to a friend's house, knock on the door. Can Dale play cars? Yeah. We brought our cars and we played out in the dirt and stuff like that. That's what we did. Yeah. And we used to have a kid that lived next door to us who was also, uh, he was a little younger than my grandson. And he was already into collecting Hot Wheels and Johnny Lightning. See, when I was a kid, all we had were things like Lincoln Logs and Tonka uh, Toys and, like and and Erector Sets. That's because well, cars had not been developed yet. What? what? I hate to tell you how collectible Tonka Toys are. Really? Yeah. Tonka Toys are hot. Oh, yeah. Collectibles. Mm. And the some toys that we had as kids that are now going for thousands of dollars. Really? I have boxes of them in the garage. I was going to give them away. Oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. But are they are they no. in their original packaging? Yeah, are they in the original packaging? Of course not. And only a sissy would leave it in its original packaging. Right, right? exactly. So it's probably worth about 30 cents each, you know. It's guys like Tony who made it bad for the rest of us, you know. What I did, what I decided is that I made a big mistake when I was a kid. Every toy that I got that I loved, I should have bought another one and put it away. Yeah. And yeah. played with the who one knew? of them. Yeah, who knew? Yeah. Who knew? You yeah. know, Jack's saving these things in the plastic things because they're going to go up in value. But they're not going to, it's not going to matter to him. He's not going to sell it. He's not going to be around when it's worth I, I, I'm assuming. I'm not making an assumption. I'm just saying that I don't think you're going to be around when the when the no, toy I, goes I, up. I am, I am leaving these for my grandson. Right, right. Would well, chill, open them up, and uh, play with them. Maybe not. You know, he uh, he is much more uh, careful with his belongings than I ever was with mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. He's on the value of things. Life. Oh, wow. yeah. Amazon had this on sale for the re the original retro version from the 60s. And I think in this game, I think if you get divorced, you, you lose money at the end. I'm not sure. I got to read the rules. You lose yeah. everything. Lose money. I think you get yeah. Each yeah, 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 for yeah, how many kids you got? That's bull crap that you lose uh, lose the game. And you lose you everything. That's amount for each kid. I know it's a deduction. Hey, Tony. Uh, I have become be the California a, version. Tony, <laughs> I've become a fan of a particular dc comic hero and i want your opinion since uh you're okay. the expert on these things i'm a fan of the question oh that's the steve dicko character you're talking about yeah, yeah. I, I never really read him oh but okay. i think that is dicko's one of his last creations i thought the question sucked i don't think it was one of his better ones so to tell you the truth i don't know much about it but it wasn't really not that popular though. well he was in broadcasting the question I remember he was, I think that was a Charlton comic. I don't know if that was a DC. Yeah, I have to check that. Well, I, told I think he was well, the only one with DC published. Well, I told oh. you that I, uh, that I was the MC of a, of a comic book, uh, a comic book award show years no. ago here in town. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, Alex, I used your uh, James Bond question on someone today mm -hmm. so, who considered himself a James Bond. And he authority. couldn't answer it? Couldn't answer. Yeah, which one? The question about uh, about which which uh, which one was released as a movie before it was done as a thunderball? Yeah. Well, what was a screenplay before it was a book? Yeah, screenplay before it was a book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the mistake I made with you last night is I said that uh, Brian Keith played James Bond on Climax. It was actually Barry Nelson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So no, he he was the first ever James Bond. And he was Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond. Yeah. Hello. And I went and looked it up last night, and it is on uh, it is on YouTube. What was that, about 1955, 56, something 55, like that? 55, I think, 54, yeah. yeah. Um, 
and uh, it, Peter Laurie is Le Chief, and it was uh, yeah, it was it was very cool. But I mean, that's uh, that he was the first James Bond ever. So. Well, he was Jimmy Bond. He was Jimmy Bond. Bond. Yeah, uh, but uh, anyway. So uh, uh, anyway, we we got a our, our world is really strange, you know. I mean, we had this whole thing with uh, with Chris Rock and uh, and uh, Will Smith, and you say to yourself, with all that's going on in the world, isn't that awfully trivial? You know, I mean that it was replacing news about the U about Ukraine on uh, on the newscasts, you know, and every little iteration of it. Like last night, uh, Chris Rock appeared on stage for the first time, and all he said was, well, what did you do this weekend? And right. that was the right. only real line, and they said, I'm not going to talk about it for right now, and blah, 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 and that was it. On every newscast, they've got the same story. He didn't say much of anything. Well, then it isn't news, you know? Yeah, they expected him to say something, and, you know. Well, I mean, you know, he, he yeah. took the high road. He took the high road. Let's see if right. it and that's, that's good for him. I mean, the the thing that I think that is kind of interesting is that brought it all out. I don't know if you saw what Brian. I know you commented. I, I read that thing that Kareem Abdul Jabbar wrote, and he brought out every different aspect of that whole thing. Right. That was pretty interesting. He brought out <clears throat> every different angle that you could think of, and it was really good. Yeah, well, you know, the really only good. the only thing that I that I've said and nobody seems to bring up, the distance between Will Smith and Chris Rock, between where he was sitting and yeah, where Chris yeah, Rock was standing, was, was I, I think too. I I think I counted it. It was like fifteen steps or less. Yeah, and uh, if they had a different the old seating arrangement, he would have never gone up on stage. Yeah, he would have just yelled at him from the seat. Stop talking about my wife. You know? Well, and think about it in a comedy club, that's probably what you're up against. Yeah, but I mean, you know, all, all I'm saying steps to the comedy, and yeah. and what's to stop somebody from going up there and hitting somebody at the the improv yeah, or something like that? But all I'm saying is that nobody anywhere is talking about the fact that the way they staged it is what one of the things that caused the problem. Uh, you know, and yeah. Also, and the fact that they asked them to leave and nobody went out there and forced them to leave. They had an alternative shot of that whole thing. And when uh, Smith came back to sit down, she looks at him and is laughing. You know, if Chris Rock had, had, uh, had been hurt, mm -hmm. seriously hurt, LAPD was in there and they could have arrested him. Yeah. But, they would have uh, fell down like that off a bit just from getting hit. Well, imagine if you. And not yeah. everybody falls down when they get. Oh, but you know, you know what I was thinking also was if Will Smith went like that, you can see. Look at Chris Rock; just didn't think he was going to hit him at all. So that's why he just sort of stayed there. Yeah. But what if he would have moved back and and Will Smith would have missed him? Yeah. yeah. I mean, what is Will Smith going to do? You going to take gonna another gonna swipe? Beat him up? I know. Take another swipe yeah. at him? You going to start fighting in the middle of there? Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is that first of all, Smith was laughing and then his wife looked at him yeah and then he said oh shit i better do something yeah well he's he, he's the most pussy whipped man in america because right. you yeah. could tell the reason he went up there is because his wife gave him the stink eye yeah. and said how yeah. dare you laugh at those jokes you exactly know? but it, uh, you don't that know ain't black, the first time he's done that either what'd you say you don't know you don't know black women about their hair that is serious serious business oh it is Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then why wasn't she wearing a wig? Exactly. Why and was then, he laughing in the first place? If he knows right. that, why was he laughing in the first place if he knows and that? A few weeks earlier, she was doing videos I, on I YouTube saying Rick, how proud she was of her bald head. You know? I'll bet Chris Rock comes to his senses yeah. and has him charged and sues him. Well, I think he's taking the high road. Anyway, hey, listen, you got to go, Jack. Yeah, let me get out of here. Intersection, up next. Catch you in a minute. Okay. And no, no, uh, Brian Neary, good talking to you. Good good to see you back, uh, Kevin. And and I'm, I'm glad your spirits are a little better than they were the last time I was talking to you. Yeah. Uh, 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 Alan, thank you. Thank you, Tony. And uh, thank you to everybody. If you want to, give a big wave goodbye. I don't think Jack is knowing how to end this. 
Oh, there he goes. Okay, let's let's wave goodbye, everybody. Okay, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, that's our show for tonight. Uh, we'll be back again uh, tomorrow evening. Jack is next with the intersection. Be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night.